Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, it's all about one special little girl because her event is coming back, depending on when you hear watch this video, either tomorrow or it's past in North America. All Statesman Frontier, aka the Bunyan event, as you can see here, my Bunyan is in fact level 100 out of 100, and Bond level 10. Uh, yeah, she is fantastic and I kind of wanted to make a video obviously I think a good amount of people know why Bunyan is so good uh, and why she is the way she is um, but just in case she didn't know especially because she's coming back and not everyone just automatically knows what happens in JP I wanted to talk about her and then use her in events specifically that I have not played yet just to show off kind of her farming a little bit and I do want to emphasize that she does have points level 1,000, 1,000. But even at her bronze level, at the max level, she's perfectly good when you give her, especially the foes and everything. And it's a super easy skill 10 as well. But, alright, that's going to be today's video. If you like it, remember to please leave a like, comment about how excited you are for Bunyan. Or maybe just, you know, third year's coming up. <laughs> but funny enough, the third year was supposed to come before Bunyan. But because I'm going to assume 4th of July and... A bunch of corona stuff we did not get the start of the event today i guess uh it's fine maybe they push it back anyway but yeah let's get into the video so first let's start with her skills um right here skills delightful comrades uh level a delightful comrades skill rank a i believe increased buster cards effectiveness by for three turns and crit strength for three turns at level 10 it is um, 10, 20% to Buster damage, and then crit damage 20%, which is pretty okay. Uh, Lake of Bean Soup, or as it's called in America, Bean Soup. Restores HP, it's 2000 HP healing. And Popcorn Blizzard, that's also what it's called in Japan. Reduces all enemy defense for 3 turns, and reduces their healing received for 5 turns. Their defense is lowered by 20%, and the heal rate is lowered by 50%. She has, I believe it is... Three Buster cards, one Quick, one Arts, and her NP is Buster, and her NP deals damage to all enemies and reduces their defense for five turns. At NP level five, it is 500% damage, two hits, and the Overcharge at 100%, it lowers the defense by 10%, 15%, 20%, 25%, and 30% if you somehow get her to 500%, 500%, which would be insane. Alright, and here's the team that's going to be backing her up. First of all, I did give her a Max Unlimited Broken Kaleidoscope, so... In general, this video is going to be kind of like, oh, you're able to kind of farm this way because you have so much good stuff, but... I can't help it, man. I've been playing for three years, give me a break. We got her, we got Arash on support, giving a, with the imaginary elements, giving 75%. Waver with a Bond CE, and that is all that matters. The rest are just kind of there for pretty show. We might end up using Quetzalcoatl depending on the boss level at the third wave. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to try and farming this. So yeah, I really like Bunyan, and the main reason I love Bunyan is one, I think she's a very cool character. She's not. There's not a lot of North American allies. So for this team specifically, I should mention, if you want to get pure damage, you go um, Merlin. But if you want farming you usually always go with someone who can give you 50% NP back. All right, let's go. Um, Bunyan is fantastic for farming. There's unit. There's 100% Berserker units that deal more damage on their NP. They're, I'm not here saying that she deals so much crazy damage that you should look at her. What I'm saying is that she is the most consistent farmer in the entire game. Uh, second only to actually Arash, because Arash is actually number one, and then later on in Japan we get Chen Gon, who is an entire different can of worms that we will deal with in North America when he comes, but for now, show this. And here's the main reason why I think Bunyan is so good. So Bunyan, I should mention in her creation, was created by the artist known as Ryo, who does the Learning with Fate series. Um, and he's always made one thing very clear in all his comics, and that is is that he hates uh, that you can't skip NPs. So, canon-wise, Bunyan has the fastest NP clocking in at, I believe, two seconds. Let's count it right here. Uh, one, two, three, and it's over. And everyone dies, and it's all good. Now we go into the final wave. Let's see. 
Mm, she might actually need a little bit of help for this one. Ah, damn it, we got very unlucky with the card arrangement in this, but it's fine. Uh, what's gonna happen is that I'm going to replace one of my waivers. But which one? Okay, that one's mine. Unfortunately, I just used the support one. I didn't realize that till later. It's fine. Go here. She should be able to handle the back two pretty easy. If the main problem is this damn unicorn in the front. So I'm actually gonna bring in Quetz. Go here. Go here. Didn't give it to her. Alright, and now let's rock. Okay. There we go. So there should be no problem with the Yagas in the back and the Yagas in the front. That's dead. That deal 59. Alright, it's not bad. If we had a full card deck with Bunyan, she would have been able to easily kill, but we didn't. So that's just unfortunate luck on that part. And that's even worse luck. What is going on? The one thing that's unfortunate about Buster cards is that they, um, not Buster cards, Berserker cards, is that they have the lowest crit rate of any unit in the entire game, um, by default, because if they had access to crit stars so easy, they would, in essence, break the game. That's why Arjuna Altar is so good, because he breaks the game. Alright, let's try one more. Um, but yeah, that is a bronze, even with level 100, dealing these dudes pretty easy. It's not that hard. Um, I could probably do a story event. I mean, I could show off in story, but then I have to read the story and nobody wants that at the moment. So I'm just going to keep going. The one thing that is a bummer about her is that she does not charge her NP by herself. So she has to kind of rely on other NP chargers. But I think for my money, if you want something done quick, because you will at some point, there's no one better than Bunyan. In terms of actual speed of something... Bunyan is, her her animations are just so fast that it makes cutting down seconds so much better when you're constantly repeating quests over and over and over again. Um, so let's go here. Then we'll blow ourselves up. Very easy. And she also is able to support the entire team too. So if there was ever a case where Arash needs um, support in some way, she's got his back. Um, when you're doing event missions where you give, can give her CEs that give her like 200% damage, she does better than elements that have advantage, like um, for ruler bosses, for example, for ruler nodes, which are very rare, uh, where with a ruler boss and the rest are not rulers, um, but you need to deal with the ruler first and you don't have a very good um, avenger to deal with them, you can definitely use Bunyan and you can kind of clear up everything, and then if something survives, she gives them so little defense at the end is that it shouldn't be too hard to kind of clean up. Now let's see if we get lucky on this one, and if we don't, then I guess that the world just hates Bunyan, which is very unfortunate. Um, all right, that's better. It's not the it's not the best, unfortunately. Uh, we needed more Buster cards. We needed at least one Buster card, so it might be she might just fall short a little bit. All right, let's go here. Go here. This is also just in general, like hey, waiver. Eventually, NA will get the chance to pick a free SSR, and almost care everyone will say that if you don't have waiver, pick waiver. I mean, if you... <sighs> and I kind of, like, um, I kind of feel bad for people who don't have waiver, and then when it comes to that decision, it's like, oh, I guess I have no choice but to get waiver. Um, but you can totally play the game without waiver. He just makes stuff go faster. And in this game where you are grinding a lot, speed is the game here. All right, let's see. Nah, uh, yes! Good job, girl. Good job, girl. And that was pretty fast. We done and out here. And then finally, I'm going to show her in her actual natural element, where she is actually the best in uh, daily grinding EXP, which is where you would mostly use Bunyan. Um, I, might do a, I might do a follow up on this video just because she's level, you know, 100. But I'll do a follow-up video where she's level uh, 60 in her, in her bronze state just to show like, no, she still is really good here. Um, but yeah, in general, I love Bunyan. More people should love Bunyan. Don't underestimate your one stars just because you play maybe some other games that kind of don't value one stars all that much. Put her here. Put her over Keo. Sorry, Keo. Now, if you saw my previous video where I said Kia was just not getting the damage done, obviously that's not going to happen here because Bunyan's the fastest damn unit in the world. 
So she's gonna get this done. Lickety spit. Lickety spit? Lickety split. Um, but yeah. I love the learning with manga series, so... I was always gonna love Bunyan, and I'm glad that she was the first one to be picked. Just because... Yeah. Her ability to make grinding go way faster is just a godsend, honestly. It makes things so much better. Um, and especially with the update with the fast grinding, like, sometimes you just need to get shit done, man. And that's the main thing I want to say about Fate, is that a lot of putting up with Fate sometimes is that sometimes you just want to grind and go. And sometimes some units you just get so used to seeing everything they do that you just don't want to see it anymore. And I'm doing this because I totally forgot because I'm a dumb dumb. It's fine. She doesn't need the strength, but she's going to get that strength. See, you don't even need Max Unlimited Broken, um... Uh... Max Unlimited Broken. What the hell was I trying to say? Of uh, Kaleidoscope. Even just one Kaleidoscope is perfectly good because Waver gives her more than enough EXP, based EXP, uh, more than enough NP charge. My computer is literally failing on me as I'm trying to do this video, so let's quickly end it. Cha-cha, end it. Like, notice Bunyan's length, and then notice how long this NP is. Mm-hmm. The Bunyan would already be done. Second Bunyan NP. Third Bunyan NP. Fourth Bunyan NP. <laughs> she would have had so many done by now. Oh, man. Alright, that's the end of today's video. Speaking of fast, I'm gonna end it real quick. Thank you very much for putting up with me just trying to... Ex Thank you, Chacha, can you please shut the fuck up real quick? I love you, but can you please? Shh, shh, quiet. Um, but yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope that was helpful in some way. I don't know how many people aren't sure about Bunyan, but I'm here to tell you Bunyan is a good-ass unit, and I will do another video. I will gladly uh, level her up again and spend all that resources just to show her off again. I think that's fair. Um, just to show it from a perspective of someone who has not grailed their one-star unit, which no one, not a lot of people do. I'm gonna tell you right now, not a lot of people are crazy enough to one-star their, to grail their one-star units. I've done it twice with my boy Arish. He doesn't need it for the purposes that he does in daily grind modes, but for some, um, events, it, it's helpful to have a little bit of extra damage. But some people kind of like to save their grails for the units they love. And luckily for me, I love both of them. So that's the end of today's video, everyone, though. For the second time I think I've said that, I'm Loki, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And now I will see you later. Goodbye.